Well, no better way to pay homage to the history. Oh! oh. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, we're just getting going, and there's the end of the fight. So it's a win by first round knockout. Near perfect on the technique. I'm not even sure his opponent saw that thing coming. And really, before his opponent had a chance to get in the fight at all and land anything in terms of a significant strike, he was knocked out. So, mate, the decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Malcolm, the Destroyer. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix Single Night Tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one-night tournament. Oh, how about the multiple strikes landing here? That is a serious offensive barrage. He hit him with the hook. That one hurt. Lands a punch there, Joe. Crow Cop's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. That's a nice clean shot. The combinations are flowing. Crow Cop and oh! draws it up. You don't absorb anything in terms of sign Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Quinton Rampage Jackson! All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Corey Anderson and Rafael Asunza. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here, and let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Wow! There's a nice inside leg kick. Whoa! High kick! He hurt him! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Just gets better with every fight. Another kick to the leg landed there by Anderson. That was a quick takedown. And he reverses position. Excellent. 
excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Big elbow there, Lance. Huge elbows! Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He lands another big elbow. And full guard here. Look at that, he's got it locked up. And he's out. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well done, Sweep, and winds up in guard. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by a Sun Sao. Oh! Both men landing in that exchange. Oh, Beautiful Joe, left that hand. Is a massive left hand. Big left. Wow! Continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. That's Ooh, a hard hook. A huge hook there. He hurt him with that hook. Collision between Rustam Kabbalah and Robert Whitaker. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Nice jab there, Joe. That one hurt. Whitaker gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good left hook. Very swung with a haymaker. Oh, nice punch there by Whitaker. Oh, tries a flying knee. Oh, he caught him with that right hand. Both fighters are a little hesitant here. Clean punch. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Robert Whittaker. Oh, big shots there. Oh, now he has found his timing. He is doling out punishment here. Big shot power there. in that hook. Couple of chins here being tested early. Good defense there. Wow! Rick is in like big trouble. Midway through round one. That's a big hook. And now he lands a combination. Hurt him with that uppercut. Oh, huge block. How about that chin? Great exchanges. All of those are blocked. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Nice body shot. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Right hand upstairs. His misses are entertaining. Tags him. Nice spinning back fist right there. kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. That might be the biggest highlight of his UFC career. He certainly didn't telegraph it, but he got full force and extension. We now go inside the octagon. All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Lyoto, the Dragon Machida, and Travis Brown. We are underway. All right, Lyoto Machida ready to go for round one. Perhaps we'll see a little bit of a feeling out process here. Lyoto Machida, a very difficult guy to prepare for, to get a feel on. You know, he's a fast star. Oh, oh huge right hand! It is a heavyweight collision between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Darren Till. Ready? Ready? Here we go. strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Murgliata has called a stop to this contest at 10 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel the last So another step in the right direction. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Ready? Ready? Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, oh! Oh! He's out! Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, that was the perfect shot right there. We didn't even get a feeling out process here tonight, and we say it all the time. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly has. And here we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at 13 seconds of the very first round. Join the winner by the sniper. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the way up. Oh! Big shot. Nice leg kick. Doing a damn good job with those leg kicks, Joe. And now you'll start to see his opponent slow down. Oh, he got tagged! Oh, what a leg kick. He's got him right here. Wow, he is getting off some massive kicks. Visibly limping here. Oh, big kick to the leg for him there, Joe. Oh, he's hurt! kicks over and over again like we talked about several times throughout the fight we knew it was eventually going to be a real problem and this is the last one that he absorbed for the knockout yeah joe a lot of credit to go around here you've got to credit the winner of the fight for his aggressiveness down the stretch but as you did you've also got to credit the referee here he deemed that the defensive fighter was not intelligently defending himself and he was in a perilous situation. So what do you do? You step in and prevent any further damage. Nice job. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, ready for live action here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in the fight capital of the world. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, oh! He hurt him with that punch in the clinch. Muay Thai clinch now, Joe. A lot of damage can be done here. Oh! He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. Oh. Big straight punch. Oh. Nice takedown. In half guard position. Slips to avoid the right. Finds his range with the jab. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. He landed that punch flush. Huge block there. Oh, that punch will come Landed flush. Ooh, that's a powerful body kick right there. He's looking for the choke, he's trying to get it. And he gets it. Very nice. 
He might get a finish here. This choke is getting very tight. He might have to tap any second now. Oh, and my that God. Will do it. Great job in establishing that submission. Yeah, Joe, we could barely get the Fight Clock sponsor out, and the submission comes here in round one. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He knew his opponent would know what was coming. It was going to be takedown attempts in bunches, but he couldn't stop the early shot. And here now, Bruce Buffer with the official. All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Corey Anderson and Rustam Khabalov. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of Pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see. The oh! kick! He heard him! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. The combination there early for Anderson. Oh! oh he slams him down, Joe. Nicely done there. In half guard. Full mouth. Very nicely done. He takes the back. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Powerful leg kick. Next, it's a heavyweight clash between Travis Hoppa Brown and the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. You ready to fight? You ready? You well, fight? how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly. Oh! Big shot from the clinch. the tie clinch here. He moves to the Muay Thai clinch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, big knee! Oh, he might be out. He's in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. How about that shin? Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. No! He is in trouble. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Hard straight punch. Knockout here early in the 
first. Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is, and that was... Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format. Oh. He tagged him. What a clip to him. And he connects there, Joe. Oh, flying knee. The left hook hits home. Oh, a beautiful combination. Ho! <laughs> Trying to get the knees going. Good punch. He avoids the clinch. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Connects there with the punch. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout, near-perfect exit. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, no better way to pay homage. Oh! 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 goes in and secures the takedown. Rubber guard. Oh! Out of nowhere, this choke. It looks like he's got the Gogo -go Plata locked in and tight. This choke is getting tighter and tighter. He may have to tap. That's it. And there it is. Great job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient, he didn't want... All right, now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 24 seconds of the very first round. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. All right, so we get another look at Israel Adesanya here tonight. Let's see if he can get off to a fast... He's hurt! Oh! Who saw that coming? He's out cold. Let's do it. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, we're just getting going, and there's the end of the fight. So it's a win by first round knockout. Near perfect on the technique. I'm not even sure his opponents. We set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at 16 seconds of the very first round. Uh, okay, okay, sorry, I'm running late. All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line.
All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. And he connects with the punch. Knee to the body by the champ. Head kick. draws it up. You don't absorb anything in terms of significant damage, and then you're able to knock your opponent out. So this is exactly the desired result for him here tonight. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. Great angle here. Boom! Out cold. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at 36 seconds of the very first round. We're the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they gonna enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division and it is gonna take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class.